Hello and welcome to my Mongolian Khanate Let's Play for Kaiser Riker Dex. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is do some research. Uh, part of me wants to start off with, uh, you know, we'll start off with the very generic uh, stuff just to get the economy going. But we very quickly want to get here, support equipment one, then also get the first gun so that way we start producing something halfway decent. Um, let's see. How many factories do we have? We'll start off building civilian factories. But what we're going to do here is let's see, we've got 12 division, 12 width cavalry. We're going to be trying to get that a lot stronger. Uh, but we're going to start off building those. Decisions, we need to do army reform. Do we want to silence super events? I don't think we do. Um, what we're probably going to do starting off is we're going to do the Russians aren't watching and we're going to try to get a bit of a uh, quick land here while we can. So the Russians aren't watching. The Russian nation is still recovering from the recent civil war. Turn about continuing German dominance in the caucus. Breakaway states of Transylvania in the Far East is the perfect time to assemble the war council on the side door of Mongolia goes next. I think that will, uh, our best case scenario is we'll probably side with, uh, if it'll let us, we'll go after alliance with Tibet. After that, we will backstab them and turn on Tibet. Uh, let's see, Central Asian inter Intervention. We might go for, uh, uh, some peace with them if possible, try to get an alliance. But we really just want to get a bunch of land at the beginning because two free building slots aren't going to be enough to do anything. But the Russians are watching. An awful event has occurred. President Kerensky, who was able to keep the Russian public from rebuilding for decades, has been killed. During his presidency, we were able to broker many economic and military deals, allowing our extremely weak economy to grow. Kerensky did not allow the House of Romanov to rightfully take the throne. He was still better than the Reds. We allowed our relationship to grow strong. For everything has been brought to question. Any sign of stability that Kerensky brought to the Russian politics was lost in the moment the bullet struck his body. While many things will, will many trying to fill the power vacuum Kerensky what has left, it seems we have been forgotten. There are worrying signs that we might lose the Russian support our nation has become dependent on. Resistance is vital. We also are going to want to rush down here. Uh, getting some free cavalry and stuff would be nice. The second in the command for the Angren Khan. I have not decided a uh, political path, so let's read and see. These newspapers around the world has been filled with the news of the assassination of Russian President Alexander Krinsky. Due to the assassination, Russia has fallen into domestic chaos, will thus not be interested nor capable of intervening in domestic Mongolian politics. Roman von Erngren Sternberg understands, this, understands that this is the right time to make Mongolia as great as it once was. He needs a skilled second in command to succeed. Will he choose his loyal general from the Zedek Cavalry Division, Boris? Reznukov, or maybe the current head of government, the Mongolian aristocrat, Togs or Nurgun, to further consolidate his popularity with Mongol people. Finally, the religious leader of the seventh, Chagai Kubitsa, doesn't guarantee that Nurgun's fine status and prove his direct reincarnation as the god of war. Okay, that loses stability, but that seems the coolest. So. I think, politically wise, Boris uh, would be this one, or paternal autocrats. I think this guy is probably our authoritarian Democrats, and this guy is almost definitely National Populist. So I guess we're probably going National Populist. Economy, economic military system from Russia has been temporarily halted. What we fear is coming true, we have received word from the current Russian administration that they have done temporary in their military and economic aid to our nation. Without it, we will certainly suffer. That seems fun. There's also this. Uh, we probably wanted to go here at some point for war economy. There's a bunch of stuff over here that we obviously would like to get. If at all, there is a... Uh, probably going to be a few civil wars around here. We're definitely going to want to make use of the ability to send... Uh, attaches for army reform. Alright. Mongolia has been engulfed in a steady decline for years. However, the chaos that engulfed Russia has led to Mongolia's small economy almost completely crumbled. Like chaos has spread due to this and many lost face that lost face that Ernberg can leave Mongolia through its woes. After revolts and riots, a major city has been common. Ernberg is considering sending in the military to restore order. Personally charged the rioters. Okay. We're sending the army. I'm glad it at least tells us. So, uh, we'll send in the army.
No, we are definitely keeping him in control. Definitely seems to call us. Let's see. We have Scourge of the Steps. That's very nice. Uh, Stabil Claims of Greatness. Russian Economic Aid. Unofficial help from the Japanese. Overlord of Kvad. That's not good. Godmir and Uprising. That really hurts. I'd really like to get rid of those. The Berlin stock market crashed. The stock market in Berlin has collapsed, and with German Germany is already signaling the economy. Germany is able to retain hegemon with the Black Monday crisis must be addressed. The world is now spiraling into chaos and economic collapse. Everywhere from Ecuador to New Zealand, the reverberations are being felt. If Mexico actually has not taken, the world could descend into complete anarchy. The world wonders if Germany can ever recover. Part of the day, economic depression cannot be curbed by legislative action or executive pronouncement. Herbert Hoover. Four liens elected in France. Fine. Let's see, production. Um, I think that's fine how it is. We will factory. Illusions of Xing hegemony shatters. Father of Chinese unity having held together for nearly up. So it says for nearly a decade has begun to crumble, rising and rest in the League of Eight Province, the economic shock of Black Monday, fitting German entrenchment, and the inability of the national government to deliver. So as a response to either has been made with clear, Beijing monopoly on power is broken. We are now free from Yunnan's control, and Mongolians oppressed within Zili sure cry out for our help. The end of an era. See anything over here we can take for free? Let's see. Um, yeah, we don't have the command power for it, so we gotta wait. Not super fun. What do they like us? The same ideology? Yeah, okay, that's fine. You don't have the economy to be like, training just for uh, uh, army experience, which sucks, but you know, what you gonna do? How strong is the Maw? I believe you guys are the first people we would go after. 7 to 18. Tibet, please tell me you have a strong army. Nine. You know what? We are going to so we can get some more. Only a few days have passed since the assassination of Krinsky and Russia is trying to regroup for our They choose to, in their own affairs, to notice much of the groundwork for coming a proper land to our Chinese neighbors. Take our claim, claims and recognize Mongolian lands. Chinese we can't, we can't be damned. Unification for all Mongolians. It's not worth the risk. No, we are definitely getting all claims. Whoa. Don't want to skip ahead too much. We will go... Alliance with Tibet. Our people work together long ago to rise these steps and tell you we shall do so again. Mongolian Tibet can stand against the surpass in China and Russia. Subject those who would stand in our way. Any preparation for war with our claims to Muslims in the south and tensions between the countries that have already been split into war a drop of a hat and such has been demonstrated that the army prepare for war. We hope these preparations will be soon enough when the time comes for Mongolia shorts might once again. Free army experience. I will definitely take it. How many focuses would it be to get Temple blessings with the country soon to be at war has been advised that we begin to ask blessing the temple in the coming war. We hope that these blessings will ease the nerves of some of our men and improve morale. Okay. There's some pretty good stuff over here. It really, really hurts our stability though. So if there's anything we can do to get stability up, then we want. Okay.
Okay, so we got Alliance with Tibet. So now we probably want to go Mongol minority, or do we want to go... Let's go here and go for it. All right. <laughs> ZB contains many enclaves of our people, both rural, small villages, and roving bands of tribesmen. We nationalists have started inciting violence against our people, and we cannot stand idly by and watch our Mongolian brethren be dominated by the Chinese again. Alright, so if we hopefully can go after these guys quickly and get a bunch of land, uh, we can then switch and worry about getting a bunch of... At that point, I don't know what we would do. Um, what really want more search speed? Let's see if we can get the better guns. We want to get those in a reduction queue as quickly as possible. See, we can do this to get more weekly stability. It accepts our offer, all right? Tibet explains to now work together to spread the word of Buddha. Great news. CB is mostly we're going only after the mall click, right? I hope. And Zaging click. Okay. Okay. I think things will be fine. All right, so the Xing is gone. They're now the Zili clique. I'm gonna save our political power, and we're probably gonna get generic industrial company. That's exciting. So you guys, a moment, notice if needed. Arthur Horner, elected chairman. Okay. The cavalry unit, and we're going to go ahead and go right up here. Reinforce the Mongol army through a series of forced conscription measures within the new bars of Mongolia. And using our tribal contacts to bring in more families, we'll expand the manpower available to us and reinforce our army. Right. What you guys want to do? Is I want you guys going after them. And let's call in Tibet as quickly as possible. Let's focus on uh, basic um, mechanic tools. Go ahead and get that done since it's super early on, and we want to get these troops ready for war. Oh crap, that's not good. First, I'll go to Mokklik. For many years, the Mokklik have been led by the other family of Ma, Shun, and the Click have been the pillar of stability who would stop any power struggle occurring within the very divided Ma family. In China, even see him as a stabilizer in the Northwest, ending Tibetan own aggression into Chinese soil. However, to this region that Ma has passed away, currently has been released by Ma Lin. Not another Ma, Ma Bifung and Ma Lin are already enrolled in the power, so this should be for take advantage of Ma's position. Good to know. Well, I wish we knew that a bit earlier. Come on. Let's get you out of there. Okay. This cavalry, we need to get through there and ready to take and as soon as we get the uh, capability to. Mongolian general has just stayed unevolved in the power struggles happening in Urger for years as an opportunity to live in Air Mongolia, raiding Chinese settlements through the region. Now, we receive reports as gathered large force on our, the border with Mokhlik and likely to do some border raids and let the border raids begin. Yeah, we're with these guys too. Yes, we are. Okay. Well, that's a perfect opportunity to go after you. Go 
Goku makes his choice with the large force moving towards one he thought occurred to Bogomai. If he's taken to he would have to defect to control the province with Maul struggling with eternal conflict. It should be too difficult to move his force to the region to take the city. He says we're not to do it. It is too risky. Do it. Do it, man. Now with this, I wanted to go for generic. Let's see, is there anything here that's like... I don't know if this counts for, uh, I don't think this includes cavalry, so we're not going to go for that. Let's just go to vision attack. Come on, Tibet. Help me out here, bro. If we can walk into your land and you guys capitulate, that would be amazing. No capitulation? We have retaken it. Alright, Spring began to move towards Gustav to take in Baka, but he was met with Spring Low resistance from Mock Lake. Although he had to fight some small battles with border troops, he had to fight through Gwensi Garrison. Since Mock Lake covered here from Longbot and finally Mongolian families have been united, the Mongol rule and region has been restored. Restored. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. Will this lead to construction done? Let's go ahead and let's do disperse. Reinforce the Mongol army, done. The Khan Cavalry, our cavalry has already forced fears throughout the region of Lake Bukka. If we improve the training organization, we'll update them to a modern army. Two day Tons, Siam. And the capital, dang it. military seize control thank you up take you there very cool you guys get supply again Join the Reich's Pact. Okay. New guns upgraded. Go so, just in case we want to build some uh, complaints in the future. B one hundred. Okay. I 100% had this under my control for a minute, but okay. All 
Alright, come on. My mother, the Jackals of Kenya. Alright, we'll skip over that. Get some elite cavalry if we do this, okay. Jing erupts into war. Okay, if we, uh, maybe if we just move away for a second, maybe. Mucklet capitulated. <laughs> that seems fair. We're probably still at war, right? Yep. We can integrate the province. Let's see, okay. Um, these guys are kind of at war with everyone. Um, Six to eleven. They have seven. Yeah, this is kind of just a big mess. Um, Yunnan falls into civil war. Probably gonna move their capital to Turpin. Yeah, kind of figured they had too much land. No. Got a bit more, uh, a few more troops. Sternberg's guard, that's great. I'm gonna get even more Sternberg guard because we need them right now. Then we can switch over to, uh, move more towards the economy. So for that capital there. Fuel storage is done. Good, let's get excavation still. Yeah, maybe we can get you guys to go for it. So wait, no, you guys go there. Very nice, and okay, 
here this should just be some snaking, but you know. East Turkestan. This might be an instant capitulation. Yes. that we have finished the first war uh, but I'm going to end the video a little bit early uh, please leave a like subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one